In this brand new video series, I'm going to demonstrate one complete app for managing visitor related information. This is going to be a community edition app. So we are going to build an electronic visitor register app for storing host and guest records. There also, there's also a pro version of this app uh, where you can also store employee or other assets uh, and other useful information like picture attendance, GPS location, etc, etc, along with more uh, robust uh, host and guest information. Uh, but this is going to be a community edition where with limited functionalities, but still you will be able to download everything and make uh, adjustments or corrections or enhancement as per your business requirement. So I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching these videos and subscribing to these channels. And um, I want to remind you, this is going to be a code along video series. So this is a community version. So I'm going to write most of the code in follow up videos and I'll show you limited functionalities version in this code. So however, if you're not a developer and a pro, so feel free to skip the rest of the sessions, rest of the, rest of the follow up videos. Um, but uh, you will be able to download the entire code uh, without any licensing issue from the from my github repository so uh, i'm going to include a link to the my github repository so where you can download it from um one before i start i want to mention that this app is uh, built in latest uh, app technologies like latest angular um as you can see i'll be using the latest version of angular um, i believe the latest version is 7.24 and then i'm going to use node.js um, express as my javascript runtime engine on the server side and on the database side, this time I'm going to use MongoDB. So this is the entire latest new mean stack, um, mean stack version of the app. Uh, so before I show you, you know, before I get started, jump onto the uh, like code along sessions. Let me show you what this app does. Okay. So what this app, as you can see, uh, this uh, the whole intent is to uh, have this app and which is going to capture the paperless. It's going to be a paperless records for all your visitor and host information. So in, in traditional applications, you know somebody and it's it's applicable to any um, any offices. Suppose for example, it's in a small office or um, uh, your your personal you know is a doctor office or you know any other any other offices you know where uh, you are required to keep visitor and host information. So somebody is walking into your office or premises and you want to keep a record who came and what time so you will be able to you know uh, capture this information and along with the visit information like host and guest information you can also capture the pictures in the later in in other versions one other thing i want to mention that this app you can design it to make it an online app or an offline app or both uh, one more thing is this app, the whole design is very user friendly, is going to work on your desktop application. You can create a you know, desktop application out of it. You can create an iOS app or Android app or you can host it on the cloud. Whatever, you know, it's up to you. Um, you will be able to store millions and millions of records and you will be able to access it from anywhere, any, you know, your mobile devices or anywhere. Okay. Uh, again, the intent is uh, is going to be a completely paperless and mobile application, very user friendly. Also, you know, it's unlimited storage. It's only limited by your database. Uh, you know, suppose as as much as you want to store in your database and whatever it allows, the storage is limited by only the database capacity. Okay. Uh, so let me, you know, no thumb, like if you see like a lot of organizations, what they do, they have uh, uh, those uh, thumb screen um, devices where user come in and, you know, uh, they take their thumb impression, verify, verify their identity and then record the visits, what time they came in and what time they went out. Um, in this app, uh, I think like the latest technology, instead of using the thumb app expression, you should be using your face. Like your picture is your record, picture is your identity. And in the pro version, there's also an auto face recognition uh, technology I'm working on. It's totally, it's a very advanced AI kind of applications. So it, it knows like next time you don't need to capture um, your visitor's face every time he walks in. So it will, it will know as soon as he sees the face, it will know, okay, this is the person who is visiting my um, location. So it will, it will know that person. Okay, let's get started i want to show you a quick demo so as you can see this is the about us page and um, let's go to the settings page settings page as usual you can create a new account or if you already have an account uh, you can just log in with that account I, I will intentionally i'm going to put a bad password here so it should come back and say incorrect password next time let me put a new password here and it directly takes you to the guest check-in page okay 
Now in this page, as you can see, it will show you the top last 10 guest pages. So guest could be an, uh, sorry, host pages. Host is like, you know, um, uh, host is a host. So for example, uh, so suppose you don't want to have like, you know, in your organization, you have 10 different people working and you want to keep track record of, okay, who is hosting, who is visiting who. So you can keep your all the host information but if you have a generic you know you can always create a jump generic host okay if this guy is visiting my office that's it so this is a very simple page you can create a new host or you can edit the host i'm going to edit the current host again it's a very right now i'm capturing only name and um, let me just create a new one so it will be pretty easy so you can create you are, you are capturing name address email address phone and comments but as you know it's very user friendly you can you know create or edit or whatever the fields you want you can uh, update this page that's not a big deal um, but the bare minimum i recommend that you should capture all this name address email phone and you know if you have optional comments okay so let's go search for the existing host so, so for example somebody walked into your office and he says okay i want to meet amit so okay i have this amit and uh so i say okay i'm gonna let me check in so as soon as, as soon as you check in so it shows up now visitor information next step is i want to say okay who you are like can you give me your information have you visited us before so if the guy has visited you before you can go ahead and uh, you know you will see all those things all the guests and you can search for the guest so for example the guest has visited before if not then create a new entry just like the host okay add a new host and you can create that but right now okay you have visited us before so i'm going to check you in okay so as soon as you check in in so purpose of the visit so for example you are going to say visit uh, you know some inquiry okay something like that okay you are here for the information for example information only okay now it captures you know as you can see the current date and time uh, one very beautiful thing here so suppose as soon as the visitor is in front of you you can you can see you know how many times you know all the visitor history how many times he has visited your organization in the past uh, and also you can see your host history so for example for this host how many guys have visited me so let me show you quickly what i mean so for example it will show me okay for amit shukla there are two people that came into the past and they visited me okay and for, uh, and you can also search the history by guest so for example this guest oh sorry i didn't pick the guest i believe okay so so you can see all the you know by guest okay this this guest has visited these much these many times and as soon as you have the information you just put like say test or something like it check in that's it you are checked in okay um it's as simple as that so for example if you don't need to multiple times you have to put your host information you just capture it once same thing for the visitor so this is a very basic app but uh, i want to tell you like this in the pro version you can also store the pictures it's not a big deal you can also enhance it so for example host information is there go to the edit host and uh, create a link for uploading pictures in my follow-up videos uh, uh, you know where i'll be showing you uh, i'm working on a new app for crm so there you know uh, gps attendance you know uh, a mobile tracker so there i will show you how to, how to upload the picture but you know basically that's pretty much it um and um, okay so this is the link i'm going to include this link go to the visitor management app you can download the entire source code without any problem i believe i have don't have any licensing issues so feel free to download everything this is a community version make changes uh, but i would appreciate if you can just give me a thumbs up or like give me a star that's all i need from you okay now you can download the entire zip okay and download it into into your local directory okay and i'll tell you how to how to install that one thing you will need is the node.js so download any version of the node.js okay install that node.js okay second thing you will need you will need a database so for example i am using the amlab version you can have any mongodb implementations of your choice and uh, all you need to do once you download it so it will create a client directory and it will create a server directory so go to the server directory there's a file called env file here you just need to put like you know your mongodb this is the uh, path of your database so for example my database is hosted at the uh, mlab.com and this is the name of the database so i'm just going to put username and password of this this is the path of my mongodb url that's what you will need to update otherwise it's not going to work okay so after you have downloaded the next thing you have to do here let me just quickly show you so so go to the you know browse to that client directory so for example i have my client here uh, as you can see it's, it's you know once you download the client just go to browse into this client directory 
okay next thing you have to do npm install okay I have already installed that, so I'm not going to do that. But you know, you have to click on npm install internet, so it's going to install all the dependencies. Okay, and once that is done, all you need to do is ng sub. That's it. Okay. Now open another command prompt window. This time I will browse to the server directory. I think I already have that, but let me just open that. Okay. Okay. Go browse to the server directory. Same thing. You have to do npm install. I have already installed it, so I'm not doing it over again. Once you have the npm installed, next thing you have to do npm start. That's it. So, and if you if you have your uh, database uh, like appropriately uh, figure it out, appropriately put it here, all the credentials are okay. It's just going to work, and you will see the message that connected to MongoDB slash ERP database. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Uh, in follow-up videos, I'm going to walk you through the entire source code. So you will be able to see, you know, how, um, what you have written, you know, how to do the client and server coding. But those are only developers only session. And please watch those videos only if you're a developer. So let me know if you have any question. Um, good luck. Thank you.